like Mass Effect 2, which is Kyoto Eclipse Boss and I'm about to go back to Zamara. This cool action photo of the Fisuma Art. Miranda's totally glitched. Where is it? No, just check up. Okay. Miranda. The anti gravity. Oh, God, I guess. Anti gravity God. Let's take this. Perfect. Very cool. Very cool, Miranda. Stay there. And Jacob got this. Just don't move. That's okay. She's gonna head out. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Oh. I'd like to look around more. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? I'd like to look around more. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. Sure. sure. Let's meet the crew. Do some crew talk. With three people we only have recruited so far. Tomorrow is actually the first. I got my priorities right, what can I say? Ah, uh, let's see who is around. I need to talk to Pitme. The biotic god, we talk to him. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does. Yes. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions, but I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Ah. Uh. She says that in such a cute way. Uh, I will always be Burkhan. Or you die. I, I can guess. see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I have weird teeth. Like I have one middle teeth. And I want to see if there's a teeth mod. No. That would be nice. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting, but I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. 
but you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Okay. That was nice. Hopefully the money is good. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Damn it. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. Don't tell me I'm always going to be in underwear in those cutscenes. Oh. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Damn it, Shepard. Stop feeling so comfy on your own ship. Okay, let's put some clothes on. Some background music actually that would also be nice desktop there we go ah oh, could have sworn i picked an outfit last time i will know if to draw the next time if my armor just ain't there and recognized what's this area of the ship this is Sorry. the commanding officer's quarters it's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. The loft. Oh. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, no. Is it about which outfits do you set you and you the next time I'm actually taking with you, me with you yeah can't talk anymore time for resting training afterwards I let's talk to Shoka first he has something to say of the remission right Probably about Samara or something. Something. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same store or something? I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Okay, Taylor. Jacob. Taylor. You're next. Alright, the thumbnail blends. Just getting all three of those squad mates into thumbnail with a black bar in between. Two of them in black and white, and probably one of them in color. But tomorrow, let's say, you're looking at guns. Nice crease a little bit further behind here. Doesn't look good. Nah. Maybe I need to take a cutscene. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Not just him saluting. That would work. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. 
I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. All of the sudden, the audio works normally again. Let's see. Commander, can I help you with something? Mm. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk He's later. Flirty. Commander. You said that flirty. I heard it in the voice. Nobody knows that this is a friend song. Let's play. There ain't no way we're flirting with people and they're all gonna get friends on. This is the way. We're in the first. We're in this gonna get friends on first. Right. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Duh. We heard about all of that personal stuff. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. I never played a female Commander Shepard before. So far, I've always, most of the times, picked Liara or Miranda. So it's gonna be kind of weird. Oh, I can't go into the woman's restroom. Wait a second. That looks the same. I can't wait, I can go into the man's bathroom too. Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Just checking if it looks the same. It does. Disappointing. I guess I could cut scene photos. <gasps> She's in the normal armor. Damn it, did I not switch it? That won't do. That will not do. I want the special armors. But not press apply. Commander, might there's blame. a message waiting at your private terminal. I did apply. Yeah, no. Yep. Ah, oh, the yeah, I need to check for mods then, I guess. Oh, we have no more armor. Burp, burp, burp. I'll take a photo for somewhere else. Damn it. Why did it work during the suicide missions? Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. <laughs> Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. 
I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Okay. What we'll take just cuts in photos. Back to William. We need to get this dancing. No messages for you, Commander. Oh, good job. Um. No, no, right, there it is. I need to decide which realm I want to use. That's going to be more important. I'm uh, tired. Do I have something new besides those? I won't use them very often. Could use the Tali armor for fun again. Yeah. And I will take Samara and Miranda. Psycho appearance. Let's go with the weird blue. And the weird yellow, the over the top stuff. I will drop off. <laughs> um, that confused me. Oh god, I didn't read into the energy drain. It actually does more than just shields in the future. Deadly incinerate, that was a good decision, I guess, then. Yeah, I hack him. No, I don't need that. Don't need it. Fro. Let's save it for Fro, Power Ranger. Warp. Let's save it for Warp. We have Liara here to, to talk to. It's kind of interesting with the Marlboro, so it's. And then we're gonna dip a little bit into the Fane mission. So it's a little bit over 30 minutes. Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Ah. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. Ah. Okay. What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct her mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. That's a war spoken, Krog. I am unable to find much information about Thane Krios. He is understandably difficult to locate. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. Ilium is the gateway to the Traverse. But is that gate open too weapons. wide? Investment think tanks are noting concerns that new technological discoveries I mean, that I have think. the market balance and cost. 25. Their jobs. Sell at 25. Today, we'll hear from survey no, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Is that just this shop? I have to go to the bar. All right. I don't forget it. Let's do it. Static damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Mm, no. Excellent. So the total come. The people here are asked to sacrifice their own convictions and beliefs in exchange for a soulless corporate identity. I understand that kind of life would be attractive to some people, but not to me. Looks like she's about to touch me. And then, nope, nope, better not. First, no. Members of Eclipse Mercenary Band are facing tough questions after violence erupted at a gang controlled warehouse. Detective Anaya, assigned to the case, has requested formal sanctions against the group. Local trader Pitney Four has been arrested for illegal activity that came to light during the fighting. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. With I don't me? know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. I don't remember that. I won't do this. Uh... Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Why is that the Paragon option? Liara, I'm not gonna help you murder someone. If I can't narrow it down, I'll take out all five. They're all connected to the Shadow Broker in some capacity. Nothing to lose sleep over. Regardless, it's not safe to talk about this further. If you care to make contact, Call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I don't remember that at all. Hungry? And I, then come I've never to seen the a water here. Shack. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits for a limited Shepherd, time only. did you get any information on the Observer? Huh. Let me search Thank for more you. data. Let me know what you find. I never did that. No, I've modded this game full of more aliens. So it's even more difficult to find the right person. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? Let's see. I did it after Eden Prime. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. You're insane. Oh, that's just info.
So. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony right, attacks? Read. They're going to see a ton of business. Kill the Paterians. Man, my life, but all money. Oh, no. Okay. A type of immediate charity business. Followed by a freeze as new colony plans dry up. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. So it's the Solarian. So it's the Solarian. I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? Probably all in this area. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. You should really give them a call. You Two know, years since the destruction of the Destiny, Destiny Ascension, long. planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel defense unit. I don't even want to think that through. The that. human alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Doesn't tell me anything. I okay. need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Coming up later today, we release our annual Safe list of Ilium's ten richest people. I need a one hundred percent safety guarantee. See if we find one more here. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The son of Dantheus didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. Not that's why you need an Omni Gel program. We just have to hope. Oh, Whether what? constructing single use yeah, I could look it up on Google. That's the data point I've already checked. There's one missing, as always. That's the data point I already checked. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. That's disgusting. Hey, You're making money are you okay? People's... You seem touchy. It's not biotic neural itching, is it? Thank you. I've tried everything. Don't let anyone know, but I had the same oh. thing. Eternity oh. oh. right up. Eternity Because nothing should stop you from embracing eternity. Eternity <laughs> oh. right. This sounds like a scam. Uh, you should try it yeah. my way. Look at how the I wind it's blowing. I well, I Maybe it does something good. upstairs to read. Training employees only to lose them to your competitors. Perhaps Hello, Commander Shepard. The Yara will be. I'll talk to of you later. Of course, Commander. Service. Indentured tech can provide contract oh, okay. No, okay. Let's go with it. I'm gonna go with it. And I'm gonna do it live. Everybody see. Mars two the Ara Observer Nuxeris herself. Nuxeria. Oh, isn't that the person that's her sorry friend? Tech today. You've been a slave to your employees for too long. Shouldn't it be the other way around? What the hell? Is there a map on where this server stations are? Maybe. Let's see if there are photos. Walk through data point one, eternity bar, data point two next to the eternity bar, next to the eternity bar, this one next to the bar. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. Tragedy has once again struck a human colony as freedom's progress has been attacked by a bit of screen recording. As I stumble across this place, I think oh. the last data point.
Das ist hier Glitch. Okay. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? All five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. I should visit her. Let's see what's up. I didn't even need to read them. She just, you know, got the right idea. The council thought that Blasto, the first NR Spectre, would play by the rules. This one has forgotten whether it's a sink is If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with they both my suit and a sorry physiology? This one doesn't have time for your solid waste Absolutely. excretions. In fact, I use He's this model at home. In every port. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Mixeris had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm what one happened? step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. What the hell happened? Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. Damn. Damn. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information. Peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Hey. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Did Cerberus ever tell you how they recovered your body? I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Because they said they could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. That would be an interesting little mini-movie. About how the Aura got Shepard's body back. Why didn't you tell me about this before now? Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you. For a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. You did the right thing, Liara. My mission is important. I couldn't do it if you hadn't given me to Cerberus. Thank you. I... I was afraid you'd hate me. So that's why I must destroy the Shadow Broker. For what he did to my friend, and to you, and whatever he's doing with the Collectors. Be careful out there, Liara. Don't turn into the thing you're hunting. Says the dead Spectre working for Cerberus. Don't worry, Shepard. I'm not my mother. Everything mm. I'm doing, I'm doing of my own free will. For better or for worse. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I like your mother. I'll talk Wait. to you later, Liara. Wait a little screen time, though. Right, team. Right. Oh. By the your stars, your administration skin looks lady is not here. To touch up, are Where you? did she go? Liara. What did you do with the body? The Biotics melted the body away. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I need to go back for that too. Damn. Okay, let's take. Ready to go find your assassin? I let's am go. now. Let's go. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower Two. Ah, oh, can I switch my squad mates' armors? Oh, yes, I can. The last time, those armors will be used black armor. I don't like the blue. I like the purple. 
but it's kind of cool. Oh, one point, too little. Damn it. Well, that warps it. We will need them badly in this goddamn upcoming fight. So, got them badly. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Why is the music going weird and crazy? It's not like anything's happening right now. The fight said that there was bright. Don't but linger bright. too long, they'll be that... here to greet you soon enough. And Good luck, Shepard. Go and recruit Tali with the Tali armor. Does she have a blue service logo? Her armor. Last time I had a mini series with Miranda, black and white, and Dame to kill for him, also Sin City filter white. It's cool, so. Throw that bad go. boy. Burn. Excuse me. Cinerid will help me way more. Careful, hostile forces have engaged. Unit member offline. Perfect! With the Wackadoodle mod that switches through characters and cutscenes, and that's so much fun. But I kind of want a normal lie, more normal. Serious playthrough. If not too much weirdness. Already having enough of that. The mods I'm having on. So far, I need miniature. I didn't get anything back. I might get some back on the ship if I think. Remember. If I remember hacking that. What kind of guns do you have? Right. Switch up. I don't want me in there too, no. Let's just take a Samara solo photo. Good mod. Bam. Miranda. That's not good light. Oi. There. I might... No, I can't get rid of the armors immediately after this episode. I might get rid of the hairstyle though. And that might glitch up the other armor. Which... Uh, I should get rid of the other armor too. Yeah, I should get rid of those armors. Ah, I should do it after the episode. First. We're done. Officially now. So, episode, yo. Yeah.